Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the vlog. Not the nicest day here in South Carolina. But for those of you guys who are new, this is a channel about building to that first million dollars. I'm 20 years old, I just moved here to South Carolina with my best friend and we're trying to build up a brand new window cleaning location. And part of that just revolves around things not going to plan the inside struggles of building a business and sometimes feeling like giving up or switching ideas. But today's a new day, I'm feeling better and I'm excited for this. We have a few fun things on the agenda as well. We have a worker interview today, someone who wants to potentially work for us, two estimates to give, and we're thinking about going to play some pickleball. I hope the weather is decent for that. And I have a fun little video coming out as well, which should be super interesting and just a good video um, because apparently it worked in the past, so hopefully it works this time. Anyways, I know I'm a little bit nervous. It's because I'm outside vlogging and I don't usually do that. But I wanted to just let you guys know that today should be a good day and I'm excited to bring you guys along for the journey. I actually have two super fun videos that I'm working on. And one of them you guys have already sort of seen before. And the second one I actually saw online and I was like, okay, I've got to do that. And I've been putting it off for so long. Today, guys, that video is most likely coming out or tomorrow. And same with the other one as well. But this is the first scene of the first video. So I'm gonna take this video really quickly, eat, and then go upstairs and work on the computer like I originally said. I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a little behind the scenes of where I'm filming, which is just the backyard. <laughs> I was just about to get some work done and then eat, but I realized it's about time to go hit the estimate. The first estimate's at 1 p.m. So we're gonna go hit that right now and get it done. Let's do it. We finished up the first estimate. I'll roll a couple clips, guys, of me actually looking around the property, but that was a very nice $7 million property right on the beach, heart of Sullivan's Island. And then we stopped by this property over here, this kind of mid-looking property, because I saw this on Zillow a few months ago, and it's still for sale, and I was thinking, okay, maybe this could be a great opportunity for a rehab, you know, fix and flip, because all the houses around it are around three, four million. And this one's listed right now at 1.2, but if there was a way to get that lower, maybe get an investor, this could be a great opportunity. We also just had the meeting with Cameron, this guy who was interested in working with us. And Xavier kind of handled it because he was the one who set it up, um, but I did get to meet Cam as well. And we're, we told him we'd get back to him about the decision. Um, but yeah, overall, he seemed not too bad, right? What do you think? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, there's a bit of uh, issues with his phone, in which I've had a worker in Seattle who've had the same thing, no data, mm -hmm. um, which I was annoying for a bit. That's the only thing we need to kind of think about. Yeah, and um, one thing I noticed too is he hasn't really kept a job, job for a long period of time. Right. Which right. I guess doesn't really matter, but it's also, it just kind shows of, that you can't commit to something. Right. Um, but yeah, we're about to head to the last estimate, guys. Play some pickleball after. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what it's sort of like right now and what we've been thinking about. Exactly two minutes later and we're pulling into Joyce's house now Very nice property as well, which I'll show you guys here in a second um, But yeah, we're right here. Here's Joyce's house guys. Check that out Check that out. Xavier is back there. I'm waiting for them to answer Beautiful, beautiful property, guys. We're thinking 350, um, just because they're older, and if we give them a price like 450, it may shock them. So we'll keep you guys updated. Here she comes. With Xavier, estimate went well. I think it should be secured, um, but she is older, so she has to really probably think about it and like, analyze. Um, but very nice couple, on way on the older side, 90s, and just I love working with clients like that. You too. They're just so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're super nice. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go put some pickleball. We'll see you there. We just finished pickleball oh, okay. after four hours. Woo! Three, four hours of playing pickleball, guys. Long time. We're gonna go home. Those kids are pretty good. Eat and just chill. Ladies and gentlemen, just got back from pickleball, the estimate. It's been a long time. It's actually pretty dark out now and I just made some chicken nuggets, so I'm gonna eat those, work on the videos, get a few things done on the computer, and then really just work on building up this location um, and doing what I can. I mean, whether or not that means checking with clients, sending in emails, um, just a few little things. And I'm also gonna research some ideas as well um, about real estate and just how to grow and build another business. 
That way I can kind of, it just helps me kind of refresh and think. So I'm going to go eat those chicken nuggets and then I will see you guys at the computer. Okay, for those of you who don't know, many people don't pay their property taxes. And what ends up happening is the county puts those properties up for auction. It's called the tax defaulted auction or a tax deed sale. And depending on the county, there is a tax, it's either a tax deed or tax title. And this is in here in South Carolina, it's a tax deed. I'm not going to dive too much into it because you can do research on that yourself. But this November 4th, there is an auction coming up. And there's about 2,000 properties here in Charleston that are real property going up for sale. Some is pieces, some are pieces of land, and then some are just regular houses that you'd see um, driving around. Obviously, some of these are very shitty. But anyways, what happens is, let's say um, I bid on a property and I win. Well, then the owner of the property, the actual owner, has one year to redeem it. So if they, they have to pay me my money back plus interest. And then if they don't pay me my money back plus the interest, I end up keeping the property. This, this is a list right now that I'm going through. And it, there are hundreds of hundreds of properties. Okay, so what I've done first is I've went through and I've highlighted the cells that that are up to my max bid. And I've decided that my max bid is going to be like $5,000 depending on the property. And if it's worth more then yes, maybe I will go a little bit higher. Um, and then I've look, I'm have i looking for properties that are also valued relatively high as well. So above $30,000. And then this is one of the properties that I saw just right here. An example, that property is owned by Wando Properties and Investments LLC. The current property value has been appraised at $105,000 and the total assessed value is $6,300. It's, uh, it's on a quarter acre lot and the starting bid is at $384. Now some of these people could have already paid their property taxes, I really don't know. Um, and that's just, me, that's just me not doing enough due diligence because there's a huge list. I can't just be plugging all these in back and forth. Um, but I'm finding like 10, 20 properties that I like. And that way, when I go to the actual auction, I have a couple of properties that really interest me. Um, but this would be really cool to win. So I'm just kind of going through this. I'm going to finish this up here shortly. And then I will do a few more things and, yeah, get some stuff done. It's been still about two hours now since I last spoke with you. And I'm still looking at properties. I really want to either get some type of tax deed property that I could just hold on to. And ideally, they don't pay and I get to keep it. But I'm also looking at land where I could develop with some investors. And I'm also looking at commercial properties that I could rehab and fix and then um, sell again um, or just rent out. But I would have to do that with an investor as well because these are hefty, hefty prices for these properties. Um, but I am trying to get in real estate. I'm doing some research. I'm about to now send that estimate to the customer earlier today. And then I'm going to finish up probably... A video and call it good there so that'll probably be it um, but I'll let you guys know once I've drafted up that contract once I've drafted up that estimate officially sent that estimate I've done a few things on the computer and um, I had a really good talk with Mark my worker in Spokane about building this business and that like how to pay him and why there's been issues back and forth with communication we finally got everything settled up and we are going to just make this better. I still have two clients in Spokane, guys, that we're not able to service because Mark doesn't have a tall enough ladder that can, he doesn't have a tall enough ladder, and then he can't fit a tall enough ladder on his truck. And then the other lady, I don't even know, man. We're just going to have to push her out further and see if she still wants to use us. Frustrating. Um, but I've just made a Facebook group here. I've just made a Facebook account to join a group here um, in Mount Pleasant. That way I can make posts about our business as well. That's pending because for some reason it says that it thinks I'm spam, so I have to wait for that. And then I am going to now just finish up editing that video, um, which is actually for to which was actually filmed yesterday, but it's dropping today, and then t the one I'm filming right now is dropping tomorrow. Now I'm gonna end off by finishing up the video for today, um, not this one that I'm filming right now, but the video for today, literally. And then that'll be it, guys. So I want to say thank you for joining the journey. Thank you for watching, and if you even made it this far which I'm pretty sure many aren't um, because these are long vlogs. I just want to say thank you. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.